Hi guys, Dane here and welcome to another reading vlog. I'm going to try not to say weekly because they never are anymore. Um, I'm currently, well, it's the 25th of December. It is uh, quarter past 10 on the evening of Monday the 25th of December, Christmas. Um, just had a nice day, it's been very nice. Uh, I'm about to pick up The Cat Who Taught Zen by James Norbury. This was a Christmas gift from Shay, my girlfriend. Um, and pretty much the specific reason I'm picking it up now is because there's no chance I can read this on the treadmill at the gym when I'm doing most of the rest of my reading. Uh, that consideration has actually had quite a big impact on my reading style at the moment. I'm trying to save stuff I can't read on the exercise bike for when I travel and things like that. Um, but yes, that's what I'm going to read next. I will try and do a better job of vlogging because I've not done so great recently. Uh, but we will see. Dane reads. Hello, it is, um, what is it, about half past ten on Tuesday, the 26th of December, Boxing Day. I'm in my Christmas pyjamas again, um, just chilling really. I slept a lot yesterday, I must have needed it, so I slept from, I slept pretty much from just on midnight to about noon. Um, my granddad came over, so it was good to see him, chat to him, he's been doing metal detecting recently, so we had a little bit of a chat about that. Um, like a picky lunch, the traditional British picky bits of lunch. And um, yeah, then I had to go for a nap because I was super tired. <laughs> so uh, I went for a nap and then my mum's my boyfriend Al came over, so I hung out with him for a little while, which was nice. Watched some like, I forgot what it's called, but one of those like storage hunter style things on TV, except they did some uh, reparation and restoration work as well. Uh, and then I had a shower, and I've just been chilling ever since. We just watched Indiana Jones and, the, and uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark, which is very nice. Um, I had a bit of an accident early where I knocked a full cup of coffee inside my rucksack. So now I'll show you all of the stuff that was inside my rucksack. It is now kind of drying a little bit on the floor. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I mean, here we go here. My mum's actually been putting some of the decorations away, but you get the gist of how, how it is in here. There's one of the llamas. Uh, she's actually bought me a llama and one for Shay as well. So we've got, uh, their door stops, but they're also just very cute. So yeah, that's that. I'm just kind of watching some YouTube subscriptions because annoyingly I can't get my, I can't get Netflix to work here. It's to do with my mum's got a smart TV, but she doesn't have Netflix. And I think the TV wants me to log into Netflix. Um, before it allows me to use it. I can now see as well, I'm on low battery on this camera, so I'm not gonna be able to get a huge amount of filming done. My phone just died as well. Um, but yes, I've packed my batteries, I think. So I'll probably just film this quick little update and then uh, update you again. Hopefully when I get home tomorrow, um, should be going to bed about midnight, getting up at 10, getting the train back to Wickham at about half 10. So it should be there in time. Um, check on the cats, I might go from there, go straight to the gym if I have time, because um, I want to do a run. And then uh, the cleaner is coming around at some point in the evening. So yeah, I want to go for a run tomorrow, so it just depends whether I do it before or after the cleaner arrives. And uh, I'll probably finish reading the Anna Ginsberg book while I'm on the train. Mm. Hello everybody, I am back at home. It is currently, uh, 10 past 10 on the evening of Thursday, the 28th of December. Um, I got back about 3 p.m. yesterday, and um, yeah, I've been kind of unpacking and stuff ever since, really. Um, my cleaner was supposed to come around yesterday, but she rescheduled to today, and then rescheduled again today. She says she's ill, so um, no cleaner. But that's all right, because I still, I've got so much left to do, you know? I've still got unpacking left. It means I can take my Christmas decorations down um, before she kind of comes around to do the clean as well, so she'll be able to get into places. Um, so yes, I haven't done any more reading. I read a bit, well, I read a bit more of the Ginsberg uh, collected poems on the train, but I'm still about 30, 40 pages from the end. Um, I went to the gym yesterday, but uh, I only managed a 30 minute jog because I'd injured myself. I'd actually, I think I'd like bruised my leg from where I was carrying back a big bag full of food from my mum's house back here. So uh, the bag had just sort of smacked into my leg as I was walking along and, and injured it. So, uh, so yeah, I only did half an hour yesterday, but I went back on the treadmill today and did my full hour, so I was pretty happy with that. Um, park run on Saturday, and then I might do park run again on Monday, because on January, Monday, January 1st, New Year's Day, uh, they traditionally host a park run. There's not gonna be one in High Wycombe, but there is gonna be one in, uh, in Marlow, which is near to me, so I might go to that, we will see. Um, been hanging out with the cats, 
I don't know if you can see, there's Shay, just by the door. Hi Shay, and then there's Biggie. So yeah, Shay has been coming out of her shell a little bit more. She's getting there. She's still like I can't pick her up or anything. I can't stroke her, but she will come over to me if I have food, and she'll sit in the same room as me now, which is nice. Um, so that's where we're at, and I've been doing some work, and I've been eating some mince pies, some vegan mince pies. So that is where I'm at. I'm off to go and do some uh, editing now, as it's been rather a while, um, and I need to edit my next radio show. Hello everybody, it is 10 past 10 on Friday the 29th of December. Not a huge amount to update you on, I went to the gym earlier, I was going to finish off reading that Allen Ginsberg book on the exercise bikes, but all of the exercise bikes were taken, so I went on the treadmill instead. Um, that's okay, I did my second best ever run on the treadmill, which was pretty impressive because I didn't have any of my running gear. Like I just had a normal t-shirt instead of my running t-shirts, which are better to keep you cool. Um, I had my regular gym shoes rather than my specific running shoes. I didn't have as much water as I would normally take for running. Um, but obviously I made it work, so there's that. I've just been eating um, breadsticks dipped in hummus. So I actually just finished, um, which is a shame because I was enjoying that. Um, and I'm cracking on and being productive. What did I watch yesterday? I watched... Um, uh, it was called Till Murder Do Us Part, um, and it was about, let's see, what were their names? A uh, German guy and a British Canadian woman. Suring versus Haysom. Um, yeah, Jen Suring confessed to the crimes and was convicted. Um, uh, basically, Suring and Haysom were a young man and a young woman who were seeing each other, and then one of them, or possibly both of them, or possibly neither of them, I suppose, um, killed uh, Nancy and Derek Haysom. Um, so, what's her name? I can't remember the young girl's name. It was something like Jennifer. It was uh, something... Elizabeth, there we go. I knew it was something that could be shot, shot and so he was calling her Liz. Um, but yeah, I had like a lot of the key players involved, including uh, Jens Suring was, was in, in the documentary as well. Interesting case, uh, but yeah, that was like a four-parter, so I watched that and that took me up to like three, four in the morning, was doing a lot of work, a lot of writing as well. I'm trying to finish off this um, the story based in Turkey for my uh, short story collection, so I'll hopefully, I kind of want to finish that off by the end of the year, so that gives me the next two days. Um, but I think Shay is coming over tomorrow, probably staying over and then we'll, we'll spend New Year's Eve together as well. So hopefully I can, you know, squeeze a little bit of writing in there. But that's pretty much where I'm at. I think I'm going to leave you there and uh, update you later. It's, uh, as I say, it's quarter past 10 at night now. And uh, this park run happening, it will start at 9am tomorrow. And I do want to take part in it. I don't know whether I'm going to sleep or not. What I have done historically is just not slept, stayed up all night and then gone to park run. So maybe I will do that. Um, we will see. Hello everybody, it is, um, let's see, it is 20 past 10 on Tuesday the 2nd of January 2024. I uh, went to the gym earlier and did some on the exercise bike, so while I was there I finished reading The Shaggy Man in Oz and I've started reading Mostly Harmless by Douglas Adams, which is book 5 in the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy trilogy, yes I know. Um, I read some really bad reviews of it just by accident. I try not to read reviews until after I've read something, but when I was adding it to my wish list or currently reading or whatever on Goodreads, I saw like a one star review and it, it, it well, I saw a few, some, there's quite a few negative reviews, but so far I'm quite enjoying it. I would say I'm about a quarter of the way in. Um, tomorrow I will hopefully be back on uh, the treadmills. We will see. I've kind of got to, each time I go to the gym for the next couple of weeks at least, I'm going to go not knowing whether I'm going to do a run or an exercise bike because there's only five exercise bikes for a start um, but even today there were only two people on the exercise bikes there were three free ones but there's only one free treadmill out of about 20 because obviously everyone's doing this whole new year new you thing um, I am just continuing with going to the gym and doing my running um, except I'm going to try and eat a little bit healthier because I am trying to lose weight and over the last month I've sort of stayed the same really since about mid-December, which is fair enough with Christmas and whatnot. Um, but I'm now trying to eat healthily again to try and lose a bit of weight. So I'm currently in the process of making a Buddha bowl, which is basically a load of fruit and veg. Uh, no, no veg. No, no fruit. So a load of veg. I've got crispy kale. I've got a salad. I've got some grains, which um, I have tomato -y lentils, sun-dried tomato lentils. I've got some protein in the form of um, like vegan bacon. I've got some hummus to go on it, low-fat hummus. 
uh, crispy kale, I don't know if I said that. What else have I got? Oh, and some uh, sweet potato as well, so. Yes, I'm just letting all of the bits cool down for that so I can eat them soon. Um, I normally have that in like a huge bowl, but I have now been using my bowls for the cats because I was using it while I was away and actually it just seems convenient to leave them a massive bowl of water and a massive bowl of dry food out at any one time. So my mixing bowls are being used for that. So I don't have a free mixing bowl. I have actually ordered some more, but they haven't arrived yet. So I'm using the, the bowl from my stand mixer. I'm being innovative. So I've just got this metal bowl full of food. Um, but yeah, I'm waiting for the bits that I've cooked to cool back down so it'll be like an even temperature because I think that'll be nicer. Just thought I'd give you a quick vlog update here. Um, and then I'm going to do a little bit of editing now. And um, yeah, I've got some reviews and stuff to be doing as well. So yeah, I'm going to try and catch up with some of my filming tonight because it's been a while, you know, it's been a while. Hello everybody, it is 11.30pm uh, on Friday the 5th of January 2024, my sleep is all over the place, it's just totally fucked, I don't know what else to tell you mate, it's, it's screwed, I mean today I had a bit of sleep last night and then I slept from like 9am till 8pm I think, uh, anyway park run isn't on next uh, tomorrow because it's uh, very rainy so I went to the gym and did a run on the treadmill instead so that was good. Uh, I actually do more on the treadmill anyway, I run 10k instead of 5k, so that's good, although it is harder to run um, in person than on a treadmill. But still, I have some apples to chow down on, because I'm trying to eat healthily as well, so I've got some apples to chow down on. I'm going to make um, quinoa chilli later on, um, which is good because I'm very hungry. Other than that, just chilling. I don't think I've got any more to update you on. I'm still reading um, Mostly Harmless by Douglas Adams. I shall probably finish that at the gym on the exercise bike tomorrow. Uh, and then next up, I think I've got uh, The Shepherd's Crown by Terry Pratchett, which is the last Discworld novel. Um, cracking on with being productive and all of that as well. I'll probably stay up all night tonight. I know Shay wants to see me tomorrow for dinner. So it might have to be an early dinner so I could pass out afterwards. Um, but we will see. But I'm probably going to be up all night today anyway just trying to be productive trying to get the house in order trying to crack on with some of this work that i've got to do and trying to catch up with my filming as well and there's biggie biggie has just run up the stairs so yeah that's where we're at i'll uh, try and update you over the weekend and we'll probably bring this to a halt next monday yo hello everybody it is uh, 8 20 a.m on the morning of monday the 8th of january i've been up for a couple of hours or so so that's good my sleep is kind of all right now um Went to the gym yesterday and did a, a run and got a new personal best, so that was good. I think, yeah, yesterday was when I saw Shay. I wasn't feeling very well on Saturday, so I'd like slept for most of Saturday. Um, and then went around to Shay's on Saturday night and she looked after me, so thank you Shay for that. Uh, and then, yeah, did a, a run yesterday and then um, been tidying and cleaning the house and stuff. I've now got the offices all done, uh, the bedroom and the living room are mostly done, the kitchen is a fucking shit heap so I'm going to try and tackle that as much as I can today. And then at about two-ish Shay is giving blood and I said I would go with her uh, and then I think we're going to go back to hers and I'm going to cook dinner and then I'm going to have to come back here because I have lots to do tomorrow as well. Um, life is very busy. I do want to go to the gym at some point to uh, do an exercise bike and while I'm there I will finish off reading Mostly Harmless by Douglas Adams. Um, but yes, I just wanted to give you that quick update. I've been doing a lot of uh, editing and filming as well, catching up with all of that. And just generally, it has been a, a busy few days. I'm quite stressed, to be honest. It's one of those where I've got so much stuff to do, I just... It's overwhelming me. Um, and it's the start of the year, you know? Normally this doesn't happen until a few months in, so we'll see how it goes. Um, I mean, I also have to go and start on my garden as well, because I'll show you here. The it's We've had some storms. And the storms have like blown my fences down, look. So I have this horrible wire fencing and I tied this like bamboo fencing to it, which is nice when it doesn't get blown down by storms. So I need to go and put that back up. But obviously I can only do that when it's daylight and to be honest, doing the house is more, pri more of a priority than doing the garden. So I don't think I'll even get to start it today. And it's been like that for like a week now and it's winding me up, but it is what it is! Uh, anyway, on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you, so th thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any... any let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Hit that subscribe button for more, and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.